Hello YouTube, today I'll be giving a review of the Rody Leather Pencil Case. I happen to get this pencil case on www.jetpens.com. So, as you can see, the pen case is black, and this is actual leather, it's sheep leather. It says it on the tag here. That will kind of focus, probably not. It says sheep leather. Um, so it has a nice soft feel to it, and um, it's relatively thin, as you can see, it's really thin. So when you open the case, when you first get there's nothing in it, it's empty, but when you feel the inside, it's not as finished off as the outside is, so it's a little bit, it's, the, it's like the hide in the inside of here. Which is no problem because the appearance really matters more than necessarily the inside. And as you can see here, it has a little bit of a lip, which is nice. So when your zipper zips, it just continues to zip all the way over and goes right underneath that lip. So it kind of protects the zipper and all you really can see is the tag or the handle of the zipper which says Rhoda on it. Let's see if I can focus that. It has their symbol which which are like seems like some form of trees almost but there's some their logo up here and then their name of the company. Also on the front you can see then if I can get the light properly you can see the name and like stamped on there with the logo above. I think that's the proper light that can kind of catch that. So I know you're probably wondering how many pens could this hold? It says from 8 to 10. But let's test this theory. So this is my old pencil case. It's kind of a tank, a little designer pencil case. But now we're going to test out this thick wide pencil case in comparison to this skinny thin pencil case. I warn you now I have not done this so this either can end well or end really badly. So first pen we're gonna put in a a platinum preppy. Next pen uh, Lamy Safari. Now, a Kaweco Sport with its clip. And another pen, which is the infamous Parker Frontier. Now we're kind of up to the brim here. The pens are right here and we've only put in four pens I would say three that are standard size and one that is a mini pen the Kaweco but it, that's when it's flat flush I'll show it what that looks like from another view still virtually keeps its shape now if you really want to put more pens in I think this is how they get to the 8 to 10 number you can throw another one in. Here's a Cross Tech 3. It's not a fountain pen, it's a multi multi function pen. You know, red, blue, red, red, black, and a pencil. Throw that in there. Then we have a Parker Reflex. We'll throw that in there. Now we're starting to get full. Uh. Here's a big disposable fountain pen. We'll even throw that in there. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pens in here. And we're going to attempt to close this. And it closes well. Now it's a little bit more bulky, but it's still nowhere near nowhere near as thick as my other pencil case. 
Um, let's see if we can get to eight. It looks like we should be able to. Here is one of my Mont Blanc. Here. Let's see if that will go in. And last but not least, my Mickey Mouse pen. So now that would be, this would be nine pens. Oops. I think we have reached the max since the Mickey Mouse and the Mont Blanc are a little bit larger. But it fits everything. It's, now it definitely has gotten away from its sleek form. It's much more bulbous. Um, but I mean, it, could, it's, it can handle doing nine pens comfortably but um I think I personally would just stick to two or three two fountain pens and my multi-function pen when I'm in other classes but um I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you guys learned oh one final thing this is about $17.99 on the jet pens website I've checked other places and I've seen them cost even more. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please like, comment, subscribe for more of your reviews. Thanks. Bye.